so I have to get the kiss. But I did bring a couple condoms. Just in case, don't be a fool. Wrap your tool. Hey everyone, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking Big Ed, cause ugh. Um, I, last, the last week, uh, not this last episode of The Single Life, but the episode before, we just basically see that Liz comes over, they, they make amends and she agrees to go to the wedding with him still. I don't know why she has had so many outs where she can just cut ties with this guy, but she, she just keeps giving him another way in and another way in. And, and I actually have some things to say about Liz in this episode that I think that if, if this was anyone else besides Ed, we'd kind of be like, girl, not loving the way you're treating this dude, you know? So anyways, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so in this, the most recent episode of The Single Life, Ed and Liz are making their way to Lake Arrowhead, um, which from LA, I think, because I used to go there a lot in the winter, I think it's about a two to three hour drive, if I not mistaking. So I think from San Diego, which San Diego is about two hours from Los Angeles. I think they're looking at about a five hour drive somewhere in that ballpark, give or take an hour or so. Um, so Ed hired a driver um, because he has driving anxiety. And he also saw this as an opportunity to get to know Liz better. Okay, because I'm going to touch on big Ed being big ped in just just a second. So let's Let's just suspend that for one moment. I just wanted to talk a little bit about some of the things that Liz has done that I just kind of feel are a little bit sucky and that, you know, if if we had a, a friend, like a guy friend who was really into some girl and she was reacting this way, I would tell my friend to cut the cord and to cut and run, you know, so... Ed has established many times, it's very obvious, right, that he's romantically interested in Liz. Um, he has he has said that he wants her, he wants to be a part of her, her life, he wants to take care of her, um, he wants to be seen as boyfriend material, he's told her that if she doesn't see him as boyfriend material, um, he'll leave her alone, um, but she she seems to always say, yeah, I see you as boyfriend material. And um, at any every time he messes up, she ends up forgiving him, seemingly. So, and I'll, I'm going to touch more on, on why I think that is, because I've touched on, a, on it in the past, in, a, in my last video, I believe. But let's just say that, so at this point, Ed has made his intentions known, he's tried to kiss her, um, that he is romantically interested in Liz. Liz really seems like she cannot stand him. In her um, interview, like a little like off to the side interview, she said that she was anxious about this really long road trip because that was going to be the longest that they had been together, like in a confined space. And, um, and she had brought her earphones just in case. When they're actually on the road trip, she is like annoyed. You can tell she is straight up annoyed with him. And I'm sure that he was just talking off, off the handle. But it's like, if you, if you don't like him, just bounce. I don't know. Like, I'm just like, don't, don't be in the situation and clearly look miserable because again, if it was anyone else besides Ed, that would kind of be a shitty way to treat someone. Like they clearly have interest in you and you're kind of treating them like crap. Um, but then of course it's Ed. So it's like, ugh. <laughs> so it's like, I don't really blame her. I'd feel the same way around Ed. I have some things that I want to talk about about Ed in this week's episode. Um, first, let's take this a look at this clip of this hotel employee calling about the bed situation. So take a look at this clip. So I don't know if you overheard the hotel call and 
They're out of queens. But are you okay with staying in a king? I'm only analyzing all the sneakiness of it, that's all. I did not plan it, but to be honest, I was happy to get the call. I'm gonna, I get to sleep in a bed with Liz. I'm excited. My I'm husband, when we were watching this, he said, that's totally a PA. Um, he said, that's not the hotel. Um, it, much like we, we've seen like where we think like PAs are actually on the other side of the phone um, before. So that's not hugely shocking. I just have a dark question about this. Did production encourage Ed to make a re reservation for one bed and then have this whole thing like, oh, the you know, because there was, there was never two beds. It was always one bed. Did they encourage that? I have another lingering question that, you know, he gave her the option like, hey, uh, thank you so much for agreeing to come to this wedding with me. Um, do you want to have your own room or do you want me to get a room with two queens? And she said a room with two queens was fine. So I, I one another thing that I'm wondering about is like, I, I think Ed is very like, and I'll talk about this in a second. I think he like wears people down till he gets what he wants. But in that moment in particular, I think that would have been a really good time to establish boundaries and maybe Liz has a problem with this establishing boundaries. Um, I think that that becomes more clear. Um, but in that moment, it would have, this this just would not have been an issue, the issue of two beds, because she would have had her own separate ass room and then she wouldn't be subjected to what we see later on in the episode. So what we've seen so far on this show with Ed and Liz is, she she she's nice and and friendly to him. She gives him the time of day. He stalks her. She forgives him. She he accuses her of still being involved with her ex. She forgives him. He tries to kiss her. She recoils from that, saying that that was too much, too far. She she forgives him. She agrees to go on this um this wedding weekend with him. She agrees to sleep in the same bed with him, but then she appears annoyed the entire ride up there and she is talking about how tired she is. So what does Ed do when you're getting all of these signals of she's just not that into you? He orders champagne and strawberries and dessert. I will give Ed one point. He asked permission to kiss her this time. So that was like, good job there, Ed. Um, so he asks again, when, when all of these signs are there that she finds you absolutely repulsive, he asks to kiss her. The, the problem is, is what, co what's coming out of Liz's mouth and what her body language and behavior are two totally different things. Um, so, so she's saying, yeah, I think you're boyfriend material, but she is treating him like she would literally rather have a root canal than be in this car on this weekend getaway with him, right? So he asks, can I kiss you? She says, don't make it weird. <laughs> My husband has like wanted to kiss me a whole bunch. I've never once said to him, don't make it weird. <laughs> that was quite the response. Then we get him going in for the kiss and it's this ASMR. I won't even play it for you guys because it's, it's like, I was going to say it's, it's like nails on a chalkboard. One time someone said my voice sounded like nails on a chalkboard and I think this is worse than my voice. So <clears throat> it's this like slapping of their lips together sound that I think was like added in and it's just like we did not need that and then he like you know they're they're kissing and he pauses and he goes that was amazing and it is it's like he just like it's just so gross then they get in bed together they turn off the lights they're getting all snuggled a little more smoochy smooch then he says he loves her and she goes too soon I mean, I know that they're on two separate pages regarding like 
if she even finds him romantically, you know, if she's even romantically interested in him. Um, but boy, oh boy, is that the wrong thing to say to someone you, who barely wants to kiss you? So it's just, and she goes too soon for that, which that's accurate. And then we see on the next time on, the production is kind of alluding to wondering if they slept together. Uh, oh, oh. Let me know what you guys think of this relationship. It's so hard because I think based off of Liz's past, I think that she has experienced some trauma and I don't think that she, she might not read like toxic relationship signals or red flags the same way maybe another person might. So it might get her into situations where she gets treated poorly. Um, with that being said, um, you know, Ed, I think has a history of just berating and beating, beating people down with asking the same thing so many times, so many times, so many times that you're just finally like, fuck it, fine, you know? Um, and that's part of his behavior that's so problematic, especially when you're exhibiting that behavior on people that are so much younger than you. You know, Liz is almost 30, but a lot of the people he reposts on his Instagram page are barely legal adults. And that is a huge, huge problem. I just think though, also, I'm not going to let Liz completely off the hook because she does bear responsibility for how she is behaving towards him. You know, he if he was like a normal person inclinating or intimating that they were romantically interested in her and she is treating them like this, it's kind of crappy. Like just say, no, thank you. I'm not interested. You don't have to date everyone who asks you or anyone who asks you, you can say no. And if you say yes and then treat someone like you can barely stand the sight of them, then that's really unfair to them. But again, it's fucking Ed and Ed is so gross and it's hard to feel, I, I mean, I don't feel sympathy for him whatsoever, but it's kind of like, girl, just just rip the band-aid off and run away. <laughs> like it, your life will be so much better. Anyways, you guys, let me know what you think. I really, I really hope they did not sleep together. I don't think that Ed needs that kind of like reinforcement in, in his life for his bad, bad behavior. So let me know what you think. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, you guys. Have a good one. Much love. Bye-bye.